Hi guys, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good evening. I'm doing great, thank you for asking me. What about you guys? I'm fine, thank you. I really it's great. You look enthusiastic today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't think that. I feel so stressed trying to solve some exercise in the platform. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Sandra. Good evening, Sandra. Hey, good How evening, guys. <laughs> oh, good evening, teacher. How are you doing today? Nice. Really good. Really Pretty excellent. Good. Let's say good. Excellent, teacher. Sometimes disappointment trying to solve some exercise of platform teacher. Yes. <laughs> we'll we'll um, we'll check on that, okay? Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My god. <clears throat> right. No worries about it. Anyways, guys, so um, how was work today? <clears throat> nice. Oh. Nice. Very busy. <laughs> Very busy? Yes. All right. I was a very uh, quiet day today. <laughs> oh, it was very good. quiet today? Yes. Why? What happened? Mm. Ah, a few patients, a uh, few work. Really? And I, I was in the uh, uh, online class. Uh -huh. I'm learning about uh, um, orthomolecular nutrition. Oh, I see. And uh, I was uh, interested in the, in the class. I got you, I got you. Anyways, uh, it's good to see you here, guys. I mean, it's really, really good to see you here. So let's get started, right? So let's a question, uh, teacher. A question. I have a tell question. Me. Tell me. Uh, I was studying uh, about report speech. Uh, it's a topic so interesting. I like it, and I try to apply. But when I try to study, I discover uh, it's easy to to use a report speech and direct form. Indirect right. is the problem. But my question is, I can paraphrase, paraphrase, I don't know how to say that. Paraphrase. Paraphrase when used a reported speech in indirect weight. Yes. Um, all right. I, I, you know that uh, all, you, you can see the recording from that class. Yeah. Because like over and over again, right? Yeah, um, yeah. But, and, and I would recommend you, like, if you want to practice more, I would recommend you to, uh, there are, like, a lot of exercises that you can do online. Yeah. 
right? Like if you look, if you look for a reported speech, like indirect speech, you're going to mm -hmm. come up with a lot of results, right? So, um, so if you want to practice more, right, you can, you can go there. And if you have any specific questions, you can ask me after you practice, right? Because, um, so yeah, um, you, you but can- But when uh, you use a, a report speech in direct way, I need you have a good memory to try to memorize all that, the phrase someone told me or say me. Told, told me, right? Uh, you mean like, uh, uh, I don't know, Lorena told me to, Lorena, Lorena said that she was going to go to church. So, I mean, yeah, you, you just have to follow the structure, right? You have to backtrack. That's why it's important to learn vocabulary, right? So the more vocabulary you have, the, the, the easier, you know, this type of uh, uh, the exercise will become, right? Yeah. So, um, so I would recommend you improving, you know, like learning more vocabulary. But if you do have, you know, specific questions regarding the structure of indirect speech, right? You can always go back to one of the previous sessions that uh, that that um, that was, you know, that were recorded and uploaded to the YouTube channel, right? Okay. okay. Um, Thank you. And you know, and after doing that, right, you can you can ask me. Okay. So, anyways, mm -hmm. go, guys, uh, thank you so much for your question, Walter. All right. So let's get started, guys. Today we have to talk about present perfect continuous. Okay. Now I will help you today with section number two from the platform. Okay. Not section one, section two, because section one has already been recorded, right? So if you came across some issues with the platform, right, maybe. It's a platform, maybe, you know, it's not the platform. We don't know yet, but if it is the platform, I will surely help out with that, okay? All right, so no worries, no worries, okay? We always uh, solve the problems in the class, okay? So who would like to help me read the objective for today, guys? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, Sandra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, you can see. Okay, let's see. Um, objective. By the end of this class, participants will understand, use, and practice the present perfect continuous. All right. Okay. So the present perfect continuous, right? Very good. Okay. So, yes. All right. So, we're going to go over the usage of the present perfect continuous. Oh, it says that I'm, it's, is it paused? What, what the hell? All right, hold on. Are you, are you seeing my screen, guys? What are you seeing? Only objective. Yes. Only the objective. All yes. right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me reshare again, because I don't know what happened. All right, so anyways. Uh, let me reshare the screen, right? You should be seeing the agenda now, right? Now, are you able to see? Yeah. Yes, right. Very good. Okay. So, all right. So let's go over the present perfect continuous and we're going to go over the practice as well. Okay. So let's talk about the present perfect continuous tense. So we have, guys, we have been singing, right? Now, um, I want you to notice, guys, the structure, right? There's something that's different here than the structure from present perfect. Well, what do you see that's different here? The use of ing. Oh, and yeah. being, and being. And being. All right, exactly, yeah. right? The the use of ing and frijol, right? Is that frijol? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but it's not, is it the same pronunciation? Do you think this is the same pronunciation? No, being, being, okay. But you're pronouncing it in the same way. What's the difference yeah. between what's the difference between this and this? What's the difference in the pronunciation? You're pronouncing it in the exact same way, guys. You're not pronouncing it any differently. Is there, is, is there no difference? And being. That's the same thing. Yeah. Oh no, no. Ben and being. No, it's not Ben. Ben is like Ben Affleck, right? Jennifer Lopez, the boy from Ben. It's not Ben. Ah. 
Uh, modern, being. This, this modern, people, this modern people say that that now is pronounced ben. <laughs> that, 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 that is the they, right pronunciation. Uh, when they sing, they are singing. I have, I have, I have been your love for years. Uh, they, they don't say that. They say I have been. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's 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 been like that. Ben. Yeah. Ben. Right. It's it's what we call yeah. a short a right. Ben like. Yeah. This and these, right? That's a very different sound. So this is bin, right? Bin. And this one right here, right? And this one right here would be a long sound, which is bean. Yeah. See? Bean, ben. Bean, ben. Bean, ben. Right? Anyways, that's not that's not today's class, yeah. okay? But just so you know, right? It's a pronunciation is ben. Yeah. All right, not yeah. bean. I have been no. I have been is tengo frijol, right? Do okay. you have been now, right? Yeah. I have been. I have been. E. E. It's a it's an it's an yeah. e. It's just a it's a laxity. You have to you have to study phonetics for that, right? So anyhow. Between e and I. I'm sorry, what was that, Sandra? The sound is between e and i. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's 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 called a lax vowel sound, but but anyways, uh, we have been singing, right? So okay, so we do have the verb be here, guys, right? I mean, the verb be in. What form is this, guys? What form of the verb be is this? That's part past participle. participle. All right, so that's a past participle form, right? It's the third form of the verb, and then we have the ing form, right? So that's uh, that's that's pretty much it, right? So we have the auxiliary, we have the subject, I'm sorry, right? Subject. In English, guys, remember that in English, we always, always, always need the mm -hmm. subject, okay? Subject is always needed, guys, here, okay? Right? So, um, right, so have will help us, you know, will we'll be the, the, the auxiliary, okay? And then Ben, well, will, right, will be another auxiliary, right? Which is the verb be, and then the form in ing. So that's, you know, that's the structure. Okay, um, do me a favor, guys. I want everybody to send me two examples in the chat, okay? And past per, participle. And, now, and third person came uh, the auxiliary? That's a good question, right? Uh, who wants to answer that? Excuse me? So he, he's, he's asking He's asking if the third person changes the auxiliary. What would be no. the answer there? What? Uh, we, uh, he is, no, he has been singing, of course. Yes, okay. So here, right, let's, let's think that we're, we were gonna get there, right? Good question. Right, if we say he instead of we, right? Yeah. We will need to say has instead of have. Got it? So yes, yes that is the only one that changes, okay? Mm -hmm. The verb be will not change, okay? So this doesn't, there isn't any form that says bends, bends. <laughs> we have bends, wow. right? No, that doesn't mm -hmm. exist, right? But yes, the auxiliary will change. Good question, Walter. That is correct, right? All right, so so guys, give me two examples and send them in the chat, please. Um, we're gonna we're gonna continue with more examples, of course. I'm gonna give you like the usage and everything, but right now, try your best. You know, even if you are not so experienced in in the present perfect continuous, please send me two examples, okay? Uh, talk about I don't know your 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 husband, your wife, your peres nada, el otro la otra, right? Right, tell me, right? Don't maybe maybe they will not watch the videos, right? They will not find out. Anyways, so uh, give me examples, guys, in third person. So let's go. All right. So Luis says, "Good evening." Good evening. All right, uh, Patricia, he has been dancing with his girlfriend. Okay, very good. How do you know that's his girlfriend? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, uh, we have been waiting for a long time. 
Okay, very good, good job. He has been studying English for years, for two years, okay. My sister has been trying to eat healthier. Good job. I have been working on the presentation. Well done. Roberto has been running for 10 years. That is correct. They have been eating in class. Okay. She has been dancing in the night. All right. Uh, it would be better to say she has been dancing at night, but that's okay. My friend has been working out really hard lately. Very good, Sandra, she has been teaching French since 2010, good job. My husband has been singing before my class. Hmm, there's something Patricia that, that, uh, it, that keep that example because I'm gonna talk about it later, okay? But that does not make too much sense. It is not grammatically incorrect, like you're following the structure, but okay. It is not like when you hear it, right? It does not make too much sense, right? And we're gonna we're gonna see why. He has been singing before my class, right? There is another there is another tense that would be more approachable if we say before my class, you know. Uh, you could say, for example, my husband had been singing, had been singing before my class, right? In your situation, Patricia, it would be better to use. Uh, past perfect continuous, right? Not present perfect, okay? But we'll see why, right? Don't worry. Uh, Jose, I've been stuck on this problem. We've, uh, we've, been, we've been working all day, very good. I haven't been feeling well lately, good job. Claudia has been eating healthy for two years, eating with one T only, but that's okay. Uh, she has been playing video games for three years, very good. My mother has been working very hard. My little child has been dancing very well. My husband has been singing before my class. She has been working in his company for over two years. My family has, my family, now, it's my family has. Okay. okay. Right? Yes. Uh, my family has been fixing the car. My cat has been sleeping all day. We have been playing in the park. Good job, guys. I like that. Okay, good examples. Very good. Well done, guys. Applause for question you. Question, teacher. I have a Tell question. Me. Tell me. When I when I say I have studied English for two years, for example, in present perfect, I understand that that uh, I study in English in the past, but not continue in the present. But during the period of time, yes, could be a uh, two months, another two months, no, and after continue during the two years. But when I say I have been studying English for two years, uh, is completely during the period of time from the past to the present and continue. For right? two years, for two years. Yeah. yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm actually, I was about to explain that to you right now. Okay. Oh, so okay. let me answer your question. Uh, yes. Uh, so guys, the present perfect continues, right? It's an action that started when? In the past. All right. It started in the past and stopped recently. Right. Okay. Stopped recently. Okay. There is also, guys, a result now, that's that's why it has the word present, right? Because there might be a result now. For example, guys, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you like, let's say, let's say, right, that, uh, you know, you, you know, you go to, you've been going, right? This is, this is you in the past, right? So we, you were like, lifting weights you know you were lifting weights right and um you know these were your arms before you started right these were your arms right here okay so you started you know you started lifting weights right and uh then afterwards right i don't know maybe this was like six months ago right Mm -hmm. you know what let's say that this was in december or or you know what january right so we talk about the same year 
So it was in January, okay? All right? So now we're almost in April, right? And now this is you, you know? All right? So this is you, right? So you have you, you have your ñeques here, right? Yes? Gatos. <laughs> right? Very good, right? So you grew some muscle, right? Yes? Yeah. This is like your chest, right? Like, right? In, in, in like three months, you know, three months and you're like all, <laughs> all, all, all ripped, right? By the way, guys, the, 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 the vocabulary that we use there is ripped, okay? You're ripped, right? It means you're cholo, right? Just that's octavo, right? You're ripped. Anyways, okay. So I want to, why did I show you this, right? Because I wanted to show you my talent as Picasso, right? No, I showed you this, guys, because I want you to understand this part, okay? Remember that it has the word perfect, right? Like, I'm sorry, present, because we say, hey, uh, present perfect continuous, right? So it has some sort of result in the present. So we say, hey, I have been working out. And you can say, you can either say for three months or you can say since January. What do you want me to say, since or for? Since. Since, right. since because we since. All right, very good. So, okay, so take a look at this example, right? I have been working out since January, okay? All right, so, all right, so did the action, did the action finish, uh, finish in this case or not? No. No. No, right? Thank I mean, you. you might still working out, work out, right? You might still be working out, right? But check this out, right? There is a result, right, in the present. This was this was the past right here, right? This was the past. And now we're back in the present. And this is the result, right? I have been working out since January. Okay. Now I I remember that uh, Patricia Ray you may I think it was you, Patricia Ray, you sent me one my husband had been or oh, has been sinking before my class, right? So so you corrected it. Thank you so much, right? But check this out, guys, and, and you guys try to analyze it and tell me why this wouldn't make too much sense, right? Uh, I'm just using this example, Patricia. I don't know if that's okay for you. I'm not trying to put you on the spot or anything, okay? Just, just an example because I want everybody to understand this part. So it says, it says, my husband, right, had, I'm sorry. This was the example, right? My husband has been singing before my class tell me guys what so so we say right that we actually talk about an action that started in the past it might have some sort of result in the present right but it started in the past guys and usually stopped recently right when i say i have been working out i am no longer working out i i stopped recently i might keep working out later today right however i stopped recently okay so if i said guys my husband has been singing before my class has been singing right what's wrong here uh, before. My, before okay very good so the thing is guys is that when we talk about present perfect continuous right we also talk about duration right duration all right and before my class is not duration right I need duration. So uh, so we can say, my husband has been singing uh, for a long, a long time, okay? So it means that he, he's still singing, right? Or he just stopped very recently and he will continue singing later on. My husband has been singing for a long time. Or this might mean that he's been singing for a very long, period of time right like maybe you know he's been singing for years correct so that's that's what it means guys right so <clears throat> so we cannot say guys before right if we say before that would be a mistake because we cannot be specific about time 
or can we? Can we say, guys, hey, Choyon, right? Choyon, um, give me a sentence, guys. You give me a sentence. Mm -hmm. Choyon, what? Has been, has been, been <laughs> has been sing, sing, singing. Has been, has been dancing, okay? Has been dancing and um, has been dancing before 8 a.m. Can I say this? Cheyenne has been dancing before 8 a.m.? No. No, it doesn't make sense like that, right? Can I say Cheyenne has been dancing after 8 a.m.? Mm. No, it doesn't make sense, right? Uh, Cheyenne has been dancing for 10 hours. Can I say this? Chen has yes. been dancing for 10 hours? Yes. 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 All right. Okay, very good. Very good, right? So the action started in the past and it might be an action that continues up until the present and um, continues up until the present. And it's still, you know, um, it's still, it still has some sort of effect in, I mean, it started in the past and it still has some sort of effect in the present, okay? So that's that's what it is. All right, so let's go back to the presentation. Do we have any questions so far, guys? Hey, did, did I, I'm so sorry. Did, did I answer, did I answer your question? Uh, was uh, Walter, did I answer your question? Yes, yes, yes. Mister, right, yeah. uh, when you use, when you use the word perfect, you need always use a participle verb, yes? Do you need? Do you yes. always need to use a past participle verb? Yes. In, in, in this case, it's be, being. Been. Yes. 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 You cannot uh, use a different verb other than the verb being past participle. No, yes. This is auxiliary. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. No. Well, what is your question? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not understanding your question. The the word perfect. Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Present continuous, uh, past continuous, but present perfect continuous. When you use perfect, uh, the bear in participle is necessary. Yes. Past part, past perfect, present perfect, future What's, perfect. It's better, you know. It's constant. No. It's it. They they share that in common. They have have or has or had. That's what they share in common, right? And yes, oh, yeah. most, of, most of the times they have a past participle form. Yes, in this case, right, we have been, right? But in other perfect tenses, we have any other past participle. So yes, you, you are correct. Yes, okay. they, share, they share that in common. When, it's, when you call something perfect, right? When you call something perfect, is nothing like your ex relationship with your couple, right? Is <laughs> perfect means here, right? Perfect means that you are going to use, you know, a yes, a past participle, and also, you know, you're going to have an auxiliary. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. So I want you to notice, right? I want you to notice here. All right. It says, I'm tired because I've been running. Okay. So we're joining two type of sentences here. Okay. I am tired, right? So that is what tense is that? Um simple 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 Right. Perfect. Hold on. Over here. Why do we have two here? All right. So I'm tired because I've been running, right? So uh we're combining a recent action. What was the recent action that I've been running? And what is the result now? I'm tired. So tired. recent action, I've been running, right? Result now. I'm tired. See? I've been running, right? So now if I say I've been running, now did the action stop? 
Oh. It might be. Maybe. Maybe. Right? Yes, it's probably. Yes. yes. But very recently, and that is the big, the biggest difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous, right? Because, right, it stopped. It's an action that stopped recently. Okay, mm. right. And what is the result? The result is that you're tired. Mm. Okay, I could say, for example, um, I'm sleepy because because I, I working because I've now when, by by the way, guys, when when we speak and not talk, like when we don't write, I'm sorry, when we speak and not write. Usually, I mean, people will use contractions most of the times. Okay. So you always, when like when you're speaking, people will usually use contractions, right? It's very normal. So uh, people would not usually say, um, would I not say, I, I like, like I have, right? Working? They would say, I've, I've, that's, that's what they would say, right? I've, so, I've. Yeah, I've been working, right? So I'm sleepy because I've been uh, listening to David <laughs> the whole night, right? I could say this, right? No, you cannot say this because I will kick you out of the class, right? No, I'm kidding, guys. Right? Yeah, you can say that. I'm, I'm sleepy because I've been listening to David, right, the whole night. So I want to ask you something, right? So what is the, what is the, um, what is the recent action? What is the, the, the past action? that stopped recently. Listen, listen, listening. Listening. All right, so that would be listening, right? I have been listening. I have been listening, right? And- um, I'm sleeping, right. I'm sleeping. Right? And, okay, so the, the, the recent action, guys, is that I've been listening to David, right? All right, and then the whole night, right? This is the recent action. And the result is that I'm sleeping, right? So you can yes. use it like that, right? Yes, okay. All right. Very good. Okay, so check this out. Um, so we have, right? The present perfect continuous, guys, okay, is used also to talk about an action that started in the past and it's still, it, and continues until now, okay? Mm -hmm. This, right, as the examples as I, that I gave before is used with since or for, I have been reading for two hours. Does the action still continue? Yes. Yes. Right. Then here, I'm tired because I've been run, running, right? It stopped recently. So I recently stopped running and there is a result because of that in the present, right? And now here, I've been reading for two hours. I started reading in the past and the action still continues in the present, right? Got it? All right. Any questions so far, guys? Or so far, so good? Yes. So far, so good? Yeah. All right. So very good. good. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So let's move on here. What is the structure, guys? This is the structure. We have the subject plus the auxiliary have. Now, remember, if we talk in third person, we are gonna use has, has right? Yes. Exactly, right? And then we have the past participle of the verb be. Okay, so we have two auxiliaries here, right? But then we have the past participle of the verb be, okay? All right. All right, so, um, and then we have a present participle. Remember a present participle? Looks like a gerund, right? Because it is, is, the, it is the ing yes. form of the verb, right? Yes. It is the, the ing form of the verb, right? And this is how we form, you know, the structure. So, so, um, so for example, Right, I, you, it, we, right, right. The only one where the only ones where we're gonna have has right is gonna be he, she, or it. I don't know what happened to here and she, right? But we're all we we 
we, we are going to use has to, right? If we are going to talk in negative form, we're gonna place the particle not after the auxiliary, okay? Check this when, out, right? When you use ever, whenever. Whenever, what do you Never mean? been. I have never been. Yes, I have yes. never. Yeah, instead of not, you can use never. Never. Right? Okay. Never would be okay. All right. And how do you ask questions? Okay, this is how you ask questions. Okay, you're going to place have, right? Which is the auxiliary. Then the subject, not been, but the subject, right? Have you. And then if you want, right? If you want to make it negative, you can say have you not. So you're going to place it here, right? So have you, right? And then been, been seeing her, right? So the only thing that you're gonna do is, you know, you're gonna place the auxiliary at the beginning, right? And that is if you're asking a yes or no question, because if you're asking a WH question, you will also need- The reason, yes. Yeah, the WH word, right? What, why, how, when, et cetera, so on and so forth, got it? Yes. All right, so do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I want you to, um, in your notebook, okay, and, and I'm gonna ask you in a moment. So in your notebook, I want you to come up with, uh, with five questions, all right? Give me five questions in, um, in present perfect continuous or present perfect progressive and give me five short answers or long answers okay if you have a short answer guys you can say yes you know yes i have or yes, no I, have. I haven't okay now if i said guys if i said do do you have a car is it okay for me to say yes i have no no yes i do you say yes i do right you cannot you can't say yes i have okay all right so give me guys right yes, five questions five questions guys in your notebook okay and five short or long answers okay let's go ladies and gentlemen let's go let's go let's go uh, mister the tell me the answer uh, is yes i have or oh, yes i have been you can say no, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. You do not need to include a been. Been, okay. Mm -hmm. So the same as in present perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, so if you have any questions, guys, please go ahead and ask me. Mister, when you say, have you ever been, been, eh, mm -hmm. eh, have you ever been, been, you can say that, no, have no. you ever been, been, no, no the, first of all, you're asking no. a question, right, have you ever, and you cannot say being, have you ever been being, right, no. because being is not an action verb, you're not representing an action. So, so that, that doesn't apply, not even in, in Spanish, you know, it wouldn't make sense. Right. So no, you cannot say, have you ever been being? <laughs> That's right, good question, That's good question, right? That is languages.
Now, if you want, guys, okay, you can also include WH words, all right? <clears throat> all right, so you might also include WH words. Teacher, tell me an, an, an example of use the double. W, w, uh, <laughs> w, w, why have you eaten my dessert? Uh, is correct that example? Yeah, yeah, absolutely correct. Yes, why have you eaten my dessert? Okay, thank you. Yes, that would be correct. Perfect answer. Right? All right, guys, so finish that up, guys. Finish that up. And I'll ask you in five minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right very good guys so let's see what we got um right let's see let's see let's see all right so who wants to share their examples go ahead teacher to be honest uh, I I didn't pay attention. If you said uh, if we are we're going to to write only only um, affirmative qu uh, sentences or questions too, or no, both of them. Both of them. Both. Ah, that's good. Five that's and good. five. Yes. Ah, five and five. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. 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 
I have only four teachers. That's that's okay. That's okay, right? Okay, I read. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Have you been visiting another country? A possible answer for me. No, I haven't. Uh, have you been getting COVID-19? Um, no, okay. that is correct. That is correct. It's not. It's not. Yeah. You see, it's not. Don't say not is. Yeah. It's not correct. Yeah. Yes. No, that's is not. Right? That's not yeah. correct. Yeah. Uh, another. Have you been practicing English to British people? No. With. 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 Yes. <laughs> no, I haven't. And what kind of music have you been singing since January? Since. 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 January, I have been singing romantic music in English. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, there's yeah. something, guys. Okay, there's something that you must not forget, yeah. okay, which is all right, uh, stative verbs, okay? Yeah. All right, do not use guys present participles, okay? So do not use present participles with stative verbs, okay? So do not. You cannot say, for example, I've been loving you uh -huh. for a long time, right? Because they cannot represent a continuous action if you're using yeah. them, you know, as, as, as present participles, right? You can use uh -huh. them in as gerunds, but not as present participles, okay? Very good. Uh, good mm -hmm. job, thank you, right? J just share one of your examples, guys. All right, okay. so let's see. All right, uh, go ahead. For me? Okay. okay. Uh, have you been dancing in the dark? Yes, I have. Has Very good, right? Have you been dancing in the dark? In the dark, okay. Yes, yes, I have. Has, right. he, has he been eating banana tonight? Has yes. been. Has he, right? Has he been eating banana? Yeah, eating banana, banana tonight? Tonight? Yes, he has. All right, so the answer would be yes. Right? Yeah. Yes, he has. Okay, he has. Okay, very good. Has he has she been painting paint, painting her house? Yes, she has. All right. Has she been has she been painting her house? Yes. Right, the answer would be yes, she has. Okay, good job, good job, right? Leave it there. I'm gonna give space for more people. Who else wants to share their example, guys? Okay, for me, mister? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Have you been eating chocolate? Have you been eating chocolate? Repeat, chocolate. Chocolate. Just chocolate, chocolate. like that, chocolate. Cha chocolate. Chocolate. Mm. Chocolate. 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 Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I have. Right? And it's yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, right? yes, I have. I have. Good job. It's a Thank question you. mark. Yes. Yes, I have. The, yes, there is a question mark here. You're right. Uh, have there they been? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have they been? Have they been asking for permission? Have they been asking, asking for, for permission? permission? And the answer is? Yes. Uh, yes, they have. Yes, they have, right? Good yes. job. The other, uh, she has been living with you. Uh, is that a question? Yes. Has, no, okay. Has she been? Has, has she, she been living with? Been living with you. With you? No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. Okay, very good, guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sure. Okay. Teacher, it's not necessary to, to mention a period of time. Or... It's not necessary, no. Okay. Right? Unless you consider okay. it necessary. You cannot, <laughs> you can, you can, you can talk about a period of time duration, but you cannot give me a specific time. Okay. 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 Right? You can say for two hours, right? Yeah. Or you can say since 5 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. Since 2019. Mm -hmm. Okay, but do not give me a specific time. Okay? okay, all right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, all right. So, um, may I teach her, Mayor? Yes, please go ahead. Okay, 
how come you haven't been sleeping good? How because come you I... haven't been sleeping? How well. come you, huh? you haven't been sleeping well? Uh, because I've been drinking Coca-Cola before going to bed. Right, I've been drinking uh -huh. Coke right before going to bed. Okay, because I've been drinking Coke before going to bed. All right, that is correct. All right. Okay, thank the you. The other example? Other example is, um, has she been cooking for the whole family during March? For the whole family. Family. <clears throat> right. Right, during, during March. During, yes, March. Uh, during March. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. Okay, very good. Good job, guys. Well done. Thank you very much. We're going to leave it here, guys. We're going to leave it here because I want to go over the platform with you. All right, otherwise, we're not going to have time. So we have roughly five minutes. So let's go over the platform, okay? So uh, we're in section two. We have knowledge check number one. So let me help you with your answer. So what do we add? In number one, guys, what is the answer here? A group, of, it says, hold on. Complete the new story with a present perfect or past tense form of the verse in parentheses. Just type in the verbs in brackets. We'll type the verse in brackets. No capital letter or period is needed. Okay, so. Stolen. A group of thieves. Stolen. Has. Has. Stolen. Has, has, has stolen. Had. Oh, All right, so let's see if that's the answer. Yes, it is. Yes, okay. there you go. Yes, see, okay. if you had that wrong, it's because you wrote it, you typed it in wrong, right? <laughs> it's not the platform. Okay. All right, very good. Um, right, what is number two? Just give me the answers because of the time. Went off. Right now. Last night about at about 1 a.m., the alarm went off, right? I'm giving a specific time, so it's good to use, you know, pass, simple, I mean, simple pass, right? Police. Rushed. Pol police rushed. 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 rushed, right? Rushed to the police building, building immediately, right? But they were. Were. were too late. Right after learning of the Set. robbery, the major, the ma I'm Set. sorry, the mayor. Set. 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 Set up a telephone hotline for information about the theft. Three people. Has called. Uh, called, called so far. They believe it is probable that the thieves have left. Have left. Have left. Yes. The curator of the Grand Gallery has offered. Has offered. All right, let's see. There you go. All right, those are the right answers. If you want to review them later, you can, you can watch them on YouTube, okay? So let's see knowledge check number two. Uh, complete the sentence with a present perfect or past perfect continuous form of the verse in parenthesis, <laughs> parenthesis, right? Just that the <laughs> conjugated verb in, the, in its right tense. No capital letter, right? Many residents? Has been. Has been. Many residents has? Have been. 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 Sorry. All right. They? Have been staying. Have been staying. Have been staying. Although, next one. Have been, have been repairing. repairing. Have been repairing. 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 All right. And they still? Have, have not sold. Have yeah. not sold. Have not <laughs> sold. Okay. Police? Have been guarding. Have been, have been guarding. guarding. Repeat guarding. 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 Warning. 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 All right, very good. Warning. Work, Warning. Workers Warning. have been have been plowing. Warning. Have been have been plowing. plowing. All right, very good. There you go. Good job, guys. Uh, then we have the listening exercise. This one is good. That is good. That is good. What about this one? This morning it says, "Is this the one where you had problems?" No, that's. No, no, no. no. no the other. It's very, it's very easy. Yes. It's very it's easy. Right? That's nice. So this, this one right here. This one. <laughs> this, this, I had a problem with this. Uh, all right. So the, the answer number one is taxi driver. Number two is uh, listen. Listen to me, guys. Listen to me. 
clerk. All right, number two is department store clerk. All right, number, uh, the next one is a house painter or a house painter together, right? So let's see, there you go. Okay. All right, and mm -hmm. that's it guys, that's it. All right, so those are the answers, guys. If you want to check them out later, uh, go to YouTube, right? And you'll be able to see them, okay? Okay. Right. So anyways, uh, do we have any other question, guys? Mm -hmm. We're good? Um, We're good, ladies and gentlemen? In the meter, I have a problem with the letter C, part two. All right. We're going to see, we're going to see the midterm tomorrow, okay? Okay. No worries. We're gonna go over the midterm tomorrow, right? So yes, if you know if you don't have any further questions, guys, all right, we're gonna uh we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you very much for coming, guys, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye bye, guys. Okay, bye. 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 bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye bye, good night. See you around, guys. See you around. See you around. <laughs> Break it's going guys. to rain. Hey.